Hi all, just a quick one. So New Age and UFO Galactic Portal Aliens and Time Travel Cosmic Disclosure Guru David Wilcock, the Spiritual Truth Master of California, has put his hat into the Flat Earth arena. Because I've got this branding out there from being on Ancient Aliens and having the two shows on Gaia that are weekly shows, etc, etc. Look, this flat earth thing is a fucking joke. Excuse my French. There is no flat earth. So Wilcock is a bit late to the party. So I wonder where he's been. But we all know he's been on Gaia Shill TV talking about strange things like spaceships, Mars colonies, and the earth being a rehab center. <sighs> well, if that last crackpot theory were true, it looks like he's having a major relapse. If you walk from one side of the earth to the other, or you sail in a sailboat, you're going to go back to where you started. Okay, you're not going to fall off the edge. Circumnavigation works on the flat earth. It looks like Davy Boy Wilcock hasn't done much research. And I'm sorry, but this whole thing is a deliberately designed con from the NSA groups in order that certain individuals in our community could be lured in by a narrative it's going to make them look absolutely troglodyte ridiculous to everybody else in our community who may, may be an awakening person to the truth. So David Willycock is talking about people being lured in by a narrative. That's like an Eskimo selling ice cream. He himself lures 100,000 subscribers in to believe his fairy tales about alien alliances with spaceships and he even hangs out with the king of the other planetary alien alliance shills, Stephen Greer. This is really the only proof NASA have ever presented of other planets, a couple of white pixels. Rejected Flat Earth to believe in aliens and space, believes in places he's never been, rejects where he is. Look, we can, we can go all the way back to Aristarchus and his simple depictions of the roundness of the earth using you know you know you know stuff like a sextant Aristarchus of Samos hypothesized heliocentrism he theorized that the stars were fixed and that the sun remained unmoved and that the earth revolved around the sun it was a theory Aristarchus theory on paper was seen as counterintuitive to the senses and the scholar Dersilides, an ancient Greek Platonist philosopher, dismissed Aristarchus. He saw this theory on the Earth's movement around the Sun as, quote, being contrary to the theories of mathematicians, unquote. A sextant is a tool that was used really for navigation by measuring the angular distances between two visible things. Coming from a ball perspective, it is said to have made the Sun seem various millions of miles away if one sees the Sun as 1.4 kilometers in diameter. From a flat Earth perspective, it can make the Sun appear as 700 miles away, and with other results, 3,000 miles away. But it is very difficult to achieve distance accuracy in these types of experiments. Angle accuracy, yes, but if the size of the object is not known, it is hard to get an accurate distance or altitude reading. It is said by some that the sun's altitude result is not fixed, that it depends upon where and when one measures it with a sextant. A sextant, however, for all its uses, cannot prove the myths and fairy tales of spinning spheres in a vacuum, nor can it create CGI graphics. We know David Willycock has much invested into heliocentrism, but let's hear more. I'd be delighted to hear more about this theoretical globe. And, and simple rods in the ground. Rods in the ground prove shade and angles of shade. Uh, this is fine on the flat earth. The flat earth does have shade and angles of shade as the sun comes, passes overhead, and goes. And then and we can go into things like the Coriolis effect and the fact that when you fire a cannon that you have to bend the target from where you think it would go because the cannon's actually going to spin in the air based on the rotation of the round earth. First off, I think he is referring to the cannon ball spinning and not the actual cannon spinning. I would hope so. Well, balloons debunk the Coriolis effect. 
as do rail guns. I'm not really sure what he means. Like planes flying over a motionless plane? Where are these supposed motions? Where are the instruments that measure these motions? The issue is, Wilcock has been munching too much on globe pills and is now addicted. Now these globe pills lead to delusions and illusions. All he has is a religious belief and no proof. And the thing that I find most ridiculous is probably a lot of the people that are putting this stuff out, the videos themselves are actually run by the government, they're made by government agents, and then the people who appear to be supporting those videos, they also are government agents. So let me get that straight, David Willicock. All the Flat Earth videos are done by government agents, and all the people supporting the Flat Earth videos are government agents too. Do you know how many millions of government Flat Earth agents that would be? Hi President, we need to employ 3 million government agents to create and support Flat Earth videos. For what purpose? Uh, uh. A little humorous here is that Wilcock actually looks a lot like these agents. None of this stuff is true. You look at the moon, you can see it's a ball, and that it's rotating. One cannot see that the moon is a sphere at all. Did you see he twisted his hand as though the moon spins? It doesn't ever spin. You know, you know, you know, based on where the sun's phase angles are, so... He also just said, quote, rotating based upon where the sun's phase angles are, unquote. I'm not sure what language that is in, bro. Not really sure what he means. You should really have a look at my free Flat Earth Advanced Moon book. It might help him out. For God's sake, don't get sucked into the Flat Earth nonsense. It's just a joke. Insults and denial don't prove a spinning ball in a vacuum. Insults and denial don't prove bendy water on a spinning ball. David Will B.A. Cock really needs to digest some Flat Earth truth. <laughs>